As Mount St. Helens erupted, a plume of ash shot more than 10 miles into the air. Last night, when it began to quiet down, 1,200 to 2,600 feet of the crater at one spot was gone. The volcano's power was awesome. Massive mud flows pushed down the mountain, sweeping up trees, even houses, and sending them down the Toodle River. The National Guard flew in helicopters to rescue people trapped in the valley, most of whom left pets and all their belongings behind. Catch you, Jim. I had to leave my dogs behind. They don't know where David is. They didn't think it was going to be this bad. The intense heat wave with the first shock killed at least seven people and severely burned two loggers. Authorities doubt anyone else on the mountain could have survived. Ash from the mushroom cloud drifted as far east as Helena, Montana. In Yakima, Washington, the sky was black all day, and residents were warned to stay indoors. Geologists don't know how long the eruption will last. Weeks, they say, perhaps months.